So first of all array in python, array is the collection of same type but unlike list uh, array has the same data type values. In list we can have integer, we can have characters but in array we can have only same data type elements. Don't have fixed size in python, can shrink and expand. Uh, we can also expand the uh, arrays in python. Flexible to work with collection of items is stored at contiguous memory locations. Means the values are continuous uh, uh, located in the memory. Okay, we can see in uh, below image. Uh, we can think of an array of fleet of stair when on each step is placed a value. Okay, so to importing a array module, we can use array and data type and comma uh, value list is used to create an array with the data type and value list specified in its argument. If you will see this, this is the representation of how array stores in the memory. So this is the first index, index 0, then how many number of elements are in the array, they are all adjacent to each other. If we say uh, element at index at, so this is the index at element, this is the length, uh, this array is of length 10 starting from 0 to 9. 10 length element. So, how we can create the array in Python? So, to create the array in Python, first of all, we have to import the array library. Import array is a double r. Uh, how we can create an array with an integer uh, data type? So, a equal to a double r, the object we have uh, imported from array. a double r dot array, and then we can specify the elements in the array and then we if we play, if we will print the new created array is this and uh, if we will loop through all the elements of array it will print us the uh, array elements as we can see here is output is here we can create an array with float type for this you have to specify the data type here for integer we have i for float we can use d so 2.5, 3.2, 3.3, these are elements, uh, these are float, element, uh, float type elements. Print the new created array and if we will print this uh, by using the loop, it will output us 2.5, 3.2, 3.3, all the elements of the array. Some of the different data types are mentioned below which will help in creating an array of different data types. So we seen in previous example, we have created an integer data type array and a float data type array. For integer we used i, for float we used d. So these are some codes which we can use to create the array of any data type. Okay, And this is the size in bytes, how much size it takes in the memory. Okay, So if we see two dimensional arrays. So, for, uh, for normal process from array import asterisk asterisk means all, choose the values equal to array like this and we will print the values, it will, it will throw the error because two dimensional array does not support just by array package as we have seen here. But for this we have to import a package called numpy. Numpy is the package which is used for arrays. We can use this for two dimensional arrays as well. So when we will import numpy as np and then we will do x equal to np dot array 1 2 3 4 5 6 and of integer type so it will not cause any error. Okay we can use x dot d type and x dot shape d type return as the type of the array in this case it is integer and x dot shape will return the shape of the uh, array 2 by 2, 2 by 3 or 3 by 3 whatever. Image in python. Okay. In the open method, the first parameter is the name of file including its path. So to working with image, we use an open method. We will, we will see an example. The access mode parameter is an optional parameter which uh, decides the purpose of opening file that is read, write, append, etc. And access mode w to write data in a file and r to read data. 
if you will see here these are the access modes uh, r is used to open a file rb open a file for reading only in binary format r plus open a file for both reading and writing w open a file for writing only so these are all the access modes we can use uh, when we are working with the uh, files or uh, images so this is the example reading a text file f equal to open this is what we have seen here open method so this is the path of the text file where our text file is uh, location uh, located and then this is r r is for opens a file for read only okay then if we will print f dot read it will print the file what is in the file it will print out we can also write a text file f equal to open path of the text file and a remember we use a for open a file for appending this is here so then if we will if we will uh, loop through the file for i in range 10 f dot write we will use the write method uh, we can write anything this is line and this is uh, we can write the elements and then we will close the file okay reading an image we can use the open method this is the location of the image and we can use rb so let's see what is rb used for open a file for reading only in binary format this is rb then we will uh, we can read the image and then we will close the file we can write an, uh, in an image also f equal to open this is the location same rb and f1 equal to open this is the second image and we will loop through the first image and we will write there so then we will close the image okay so before starting the uh, machine learning we can we can use some packages to be installed which will be using in our machine learning uh, course so for installing any of the library in machine learning we use pip what is pip pip is a package management system used to install and manage software packages written in python so to check whether pip is installed or not just type pip minus version in your command line and it will tell you what version of the pip is installed if pip is not recognized that means that pip is not installed in your system for machine learning install a few packages these are some of the important packages in machine learning that are widely used uh, in machine learning projects pip install numpy uh, this is used for working with arrays if we are working with array we can install the pip install uh, numpy then we have pandas uh, pip install panda this is for data manipulation and analysis data frames are used in pandas then we have sklearn this is this is, this has various algorithms like svm random forest etc then we have uh, pip install condal then we have pip install matplotlib so this is the plotting library for the python programming language you can write uh, the uh, plots you can view the uh, view the relation between the uh, variables then we have pip install cbone so, so these are the basic packages in python which must be installed before we start the machine learning so this is all for today's lecture thank you so much